Are you looking for a new cross country bike? If you are, you need to check out this Polygon Syncline C2. This thing offers a lot of features and a great bang for your buck. Coming in at $15.99 US dollars, this thing just packs so many features, it's not even funny. Like this full carbon frame, making this bike super light and super playful on the trail. So if you're looking to get into some like XC racing or just any type of cross country use, this thing is gonna be right up your alley and you're not gonna have to break the bank to do it. This thing is very reasonably priced. Considering what you get, I don't think you're gonna be able to go wrong with this bike because it just has so many features and it looks great. So you can find these Polygon bikes on Bikes Online. Great website, it's very easy to use. And with just a simple click of the mouse, you can have this thing showing up at your doorstep in less than two weeks in most cases, depending on availability. One cool thing about the bikes that you get from Bikes Online is that you actually have to assemble these things by yourself, which gives you a little bit more respect for the bike. It gets you to play with your bike a little bit more and actually learn what makes up the bike. So if you're new to mountain biking, this is a great way to learn how to maintain your bike, how to work on it just a little bit, get you more familiar with the parts that make up the bike. So I think it's a great way to get used to dealing with your bike as a whole. And if you're looking for an assembly video on this Polygon Syncline C2, also check out my channel. I have a build video on this as well. In this video, we're just gonna be doing a specs breakdown, showing you what you get if you were to purchase this bike and what kind of components and features make up this bike as a whole. Okay, we're gonna be starting with this frame. This frame is awesome. It is an ACX XC Performance Carbon Frame. Nice little beefy emblem up here at the front. Very nice paint job on this thing got all the polygon branding on it looks really good it's got like a carbon fiber uh, look to it even though it is carbon fiber it's got some accents that make it look carbon fiber and from the store you can't really tell that this has purple accents on it but this is in fact purple which I think looks really awesome and the paint job itself has like a purple flake and I wish it was a little bit more sunny but you can't really see it, but it does have a purple flake to it. It's very subtle, but in the sun, you can really see the purple pop in this thing. So it's pretty cool. It says Syncline across the top. And this thing is very lightweight. The whole bike only weighing in at 28.4 pounds. So sub 30 pound bike here. And this thing is just built for racing. It's built for maintaining your speed and longevity on those cross-country XC races or just you know spending a lot of time out on the trail in general <clears throat> this thing does offer boost axles and with that through axles this is actually a quick release through axle you can see there very nice and beefy through axle and on the front you get a 15 by 110 through axle and then on the rear also another through axle but this is a 12 by 148 with the boost spacing. So very nice features there. I know a lot of people love to have through axles on their bike and I don't blame them. It just makes for a more solid rigid bike and that is awesome. This does have a threaded bottom bracket and you can tell it's butted up really close to the frame itself where this frame has to be a little bit wider to accommodate the carbon to make it more rigid. This does have internal cable routing. And depending on how you want your control set up, you could in fact switch it over to this side and route your cables. Uh, but for this configuration, this is kind of how it came out of the box and it works for me. Overall, this bike does have a very modern trail geometry. It has a more slack head tube angle and speaking of head tube angle, this is a tapered head tube, which is a very nice modern feature if you want to upgrade this fork, because this does come with a Suntour fork, and a lot of people don't like Suntour forks, and they want to upgrade. It's going to give you the ability to upgrade to pretty much any type of tapered fork. With this head tube angle, this is going to give you, you know, better stability on those higher speed runs, also going some downhill stuff. It's gonna give you a little bit more stability 
at those higher speeds as well. It's gonna be a perfect balance between speed and playfulness on those trails. These bikes do come in a wide range of sizes from small to medium with a 27 and a half inch wheel. And you can also find a medium frame in the 29er model. And currently on Bikes Online, I couldn't find an offering larger than a medium frame on this bike. And typically I do ride a medium frame bike, but this was a small frame that I did purchase for my wife. And this small frame is kind of a mix between a small and a medium. It actually fits me decently well for a small. So that was the frame. Now let's talk about the suspension, starting with the fork up front. This is a Suntour XCR 120 mils of travel fork. And this is just a hydraulic fork. This does not have air, but it does have adjustments to make it a little bit more user friendly out on the trail. It does feature a lockout. So you can lock this fork out. And this is actually pretty much a true lockout. There is really no play in that fork at all. Many times you get a fork that has still some play in it, which can be a nice feature if you don't want to beat yourself up. But this actually does have a full lockout, which is nice. You do have a rebound adjustment down here at the bottom where you can adjust your rebound, how fast that fork actually returns back to the position as well as you have a preload adjustment over on the left side stanchion where you can adjust your preload. Overall, this fork looks really nice. The stanchions look really beefy and this is a full alloy steerer, which you're saving a lot of weight and that really adds to this bike being that sub 30 pounds. A lot of cheaper bikes, you're gonna get very heavy forks and this is not one of those. This is really, really nice offering from Suntour, offering that boost spacing with the through axles and just making it lightweight overall. The brace on this fork looks to be very strong as well. Let's look at the back side of this thing. You can see it is very solid looking. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any points of weakness in this brace. I really like that. Uh, but overall, this thing looks pretty good. The fork seals look nice and it has those purple accents as well which follow the rest of the bike. So that is the front fork. So that wraps up the suspension on this bike since this is a hardtail and it keeps things very simple and very rigid as well. All right, moving into the drivetrain. You do have the Shimano Dior crank arms and does offer that hollow bottom bracket, which is gonna save a lot of weight as well. And this does have that one by 11 drivetrain by Shimano with the Dior being the very beefy off-road version that really gives you a lot of durability and dependability out on the trail. So it does offer that wide range of gearing options with multiple different gears back here, offering 11 total, giving you a very wide range. And the simplicity of only having one chain ring up front, you're not gonna be worried about having to use both hands to change gears, which is really nice. One cool feature about this Dior rear derailleur is that you can actually lock out the rear. See how it's loose right now? You can lock this out to where if you're going down the trails or in a race, this thing pretty much locks up solid and you're not gonna have all that chain slap. So that is a really nice feature that they've incorporated into this Dior rear derailleur. And you might be wondering how well this bike shifts. This thing does shift very smooth. And one good thing about Polygon bikes and bikes online in general, before these things ship, they actually go through and set the gearing up to make sure it does shift very smooth right out of the box. So you don't have to worry about setting up your gears, which is really cool. And that saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle because setting up a rear derailleur can be pretty painful at times. Okay, moving on to the brakes. This does offer the Shimano branded MT-201 hydraulic disc brakes. And I really love these type of brakes. If you've never had hydraulic brakes before, they are just a game changer. And these Shimanos do not disappoint. Very nice, solid construction on the brake levers. 
these things just look really nice the cable routing goes to them very well this one does have 180 mil rotors up front very nice brake caliper there and overall these things stop the bike very very well and with the bike being so light this thing has no issues doing that and in the rear it does have a 160 mil rotor once again it's a little small but this thing does offer quite a bit of stopping power for an xc bike and that's going to keep down on the weight having those smaller rotors too so you're not lugging around as much weight with 180 mil or larger rotor overall these brakes are going to offer you plenty of stopping power and i don't see any issues with these brakes so far or having to upgrade them in the future moving on to the wheels and tires so talking about the wheel first this is a entity branded double wall alloy wheel looks very nice it has the purple colors on it and overall this wheel looks pretty good i don't think you're gonna have to replace it in the future or anything like that this is going to do you plenty good it does have the presta valves that way if you're looking to run this tubeless you can do that very easily these do come tubeless ready like most polygon bikes do and this also does have these shimano hubs that just round out this package very nicely you see the shimano branding on the hub in there and this is very nice splined hubs and you can see the brake rotor is actually splined onto the hub itself, which is a very nice feature. Moving on to the tires, these are WTB Trail Boss 2.25 wheels. They are pretty thin, and that is something that you're going to want on an XC bike just to keep the weight down. You can see how thin this wheel is, and I know it's kind of hard to tell on film, but this is a pretty skinny wheel, and that's going to cut down on weight and really enhance your rolling efficiency when you're going across those cross-country trails moving into all of the entity branded items on this bike pretty much all of the items that you can change out pretty fast and some of the most uh, common upgrades that people do and the first one being these entity branded bars and these bars are alloy bars very flat for the most part and this is coming in at 720 mils. So it's not that wide like most enduro or trail bikes are. So keeping it cross country, this thing is pretty thin as far as bar width goes. Uh, and then the entity, entity branding here doesn't fail. This thing is a pretty solid bar overall. These do have some entity branded lock on grips. And these grips are super nice actually probably one of my favorite grips i've ever touched and i'm kind of jealous this isn't on my bike you see right there nice lock on but the pattern is just really nice and soft really nice grips on these has a very nice stem also entity branded there i don't know if you can see it too well entity expert and very nice built stem if you want to move the spacers on top of the stem, you can do that as well and lower the bar height as a whole. Also, you have an entity branded saddle and saddle post. Overall, this saddle feels really nice. Has a nice cutout right there, deep little valley in it, and the material seems very solid. And the post, also entity expert, does have the purple accents pretty solid as well and then your saddle post clamp it's a quick release style does seem pretty solid has the polygon logo on it one cool feature about this bike it does come with alloy pedals now these pedals aren't the most solid and they do have metal studs these are not the replaceable type where it's just a screw where you can replace them this is actually solid but I think for a cross-country bike, this might suit it pretty well. This is probably something I would look to upgrade pretty soon, either to some nylon pedals or maybe some other type of alloy pedals. But a pretty cool feature right out of the box, you don't have plastic pedals like a lot of other bikes come with. Overall, I am super happy with the purchase of this Polygon Syncline C2. This thing is just an awesome offering from Polygon. 
and having this carbon frame i think that is the biggest selling point or at least it was for me making this bike super light looking to get into some light cross country racing or cross country riding this bike is going to be suited perfect for that the sun tour fork even though it is 120 mils of travel you're going to be super happy with it it does offer a very smooth operation it's not going to beat you up on the trails and it just overall this bike does perform very well i'm super happy with it the drivetrain also very solid having that shimano dior 1x11 drivetrain is just an awesome feature this bike has i strongly recommend purchasing this bike if you're looking to get a new cross-country race bike or just a cross-country bike in general this thing will not disappoint it's very lightweight sub 30 pounds and you're going to be completely happy with it all right guys if you like this video please hit that like button also if you'd like to see more videos like this head over to my channel and check out some of these videos i do have a build video like i said on this bike and other polygon bikes as well and we'd love to have you on the channel so please hit that subscribe button help me out and i can offer more videos like this in the future all right guys thanks for checking it out